Aikido. Starring Kenji Tomiki. This is Damien Chamber speaking to you from Hollywood, California. Judo, Aikido in 1956, which was the first book in English explaining the principles of Aikido. It is believed that the first half of this video was filmed in the 1930s, and the second half was shot in the early 1950s. Tomiki Sensei perhaps didn't get the recognition he deserved. He was certainly a pioneer in Aikido. Now here we see him demonstrating one of his exercises, Ashiwaza, or footwork. Remember, Tomiki Sensei originally studied Judo under Professor Kano. Therefore, that was his foundation. Here we see a series of warm-up exercises that he inherited from Weishiba Sensei. Now he moves in various directions, warming up the arms and so forth in preparation for various escaping techniques and nage waza or throwing techniques of Aikido. Now, something you should take note of. This rare footage should give you a glimpse into the past and show you the relationship between Daito Ryu Aiki Jiu Jitsu, the forerunner of Aikido, and what is now known as modern Aikido. Here we see some of the basic movements of Aikido, disturbing the opponent's balance, breaking the, the grip, controlling the opponent's energy, or ki, if you will. Now, these movements are designed to control the opponent's energy, actually maneuvering in, into another direction and using his own force against him. The harder he attacks or grabs, the more violent the counter becomes. Here we see a controlling technique. Now sliding underneath, this is actually Shiho Nage. Stepping under, and notice that all these techniques are demonstrated both Hidari and Miki, in other words, to the left and the right. Ah, this is known as the heaven and earth technique. One hand is down, the other is up. Now heaven and earth technique applied with Shiho Nage simultaneously.
principle or the way of following the harmonizing of your key or energy with the opponent's energy. Now this blending is the concept that Weishiba developed from perhaps the more robust or harsh form of Aiki Jiu Jitsu, which was actually quite damaging to the opponent and included all sorts of Atemi Waza striking techniques. Now, this blending concept, or smoother Aiki concept, or harmonizing of Ki, is what gave modern Aikido its distinctive flavor, much different than the original Aiki Jiu-Jitsu of the Samurai Warrior. Now, we have the step-in throw, unbalancing an opponent, blocking the outstretched arm of the opponent with a knife hand, this also can be a striking, chopping, vital point strike as well. And then controlling the opponent's energy. Notice that the head is controlled. When one controls the head, one controls the entire body. The, the head is a very heavy object of the body, and wherever it's pushed is the direction that one's body will go into. Another principle of Aikido. The feature of Aikido is the many uh, controlling techniques. Actually, there are four Ikkyo, Nikkyo, Sankyo, and Yonkyo. These are all controlling measures and against an attack by an assailant. Controlling techniques of Aikido evolved out of the heritage of the art from the samurai warrior. The warrior had to use these techniques to control an opponent in battle. Another feature of Aikido is the wrist lock, kote gaishi, or reverse hand, twisting the wrist, twisting the wrist to the outside to apply pressure. Also using a controlling technique to affect a throw. Ah. Here we have Nikio controlling the opponent's wrist and working it into a throwing technique. This is one of Aikido's, Nikio is one of Aikido's interesting techniques. If not applied carefully, injury can result to the Attacker. Now, Shiho Nage can be applied with uh, a wrist lock at the end to affect a throwing technique. Notice how Tomiki Sensei on the right blends with his attacker. He never uses brute force, but all technique. Kaiten Nage, a rotary arm throw, and controlling again the weight of the head to help affect a throw. This is a feature of Aikido. Now, Master Weishiba actually founded Aikido in 1942 after his extensive study of swordsmanship and Daito Ryu Aiki Jiu Jitsu under Sogaku Takeda. He evolved it into a modern martial art. Weishiba Sensei died in 1969, leaving many followers to carry on the art of Aikido, and in fact, Tomiki Sensei being one of the principal founders, along with uh, Weishiba Sensei's son, and many, many others. Now, another one of the practitioners of Aikido is Koichi Tohei Sensei. Kohei Sensei, along with uh, Weishiba Sensei's son, uh, some of the principal practitioners and students of the art to carry it on for yet another generation. 
Now Gozo Shioda, another name recognized from Aikido's lineage, was a rather famous practitioner. Here we see many members of the SAC forces being lectured by Emilio Bruno, yet another pioneer. Bruno explained the intricacies of the Japanese culture and martial ethos, if you will, to the many uh, Air Force personnel who were being exposed to these arts. Now we have members raying on to the dojo, a sign of courtesy, as they enter the practice hall, barefooted in Japanese style. And of course this is done because the bed in Japan is considered an extension of the house, whereas in the West, uh, the house is merely an extension of the street, so the shoes are worn. Now this particular footage here was filmed in the Kodokan where Tamiki Sensei, also who, when he was, uh, after he was sent to study with Weishiba Sensei, returned to the Kodokan and of course taught Aikido in the Kodokan. Now this is Tamiki Sensei demonstrating first control, how to do a handhold reversal as an escape and then eventually to seize the elbow to control the opponent along with the wrist. Now, in 1978, Tomiki Sensei was an eighth dan in Judo and a ninth dan in Aikido. Here he is demonstrating with a black belter and from the Kotokan. And again, we have uh, the practice of ukeme, or breakfalls. Now we have zenpo kaiten, forward roll. Again, all these rolling techniques, or breakfalls, are part of uh, Aikido training. Now we have some of the black belters from the Kodokan practicing judo. This is the you know, seonage technique, an over-the-shoulder throw faking a foot sweep and then going for another throw. Another over the hip throw, a foot sweep. Now we have a perfect throw. Now wonderful, Harai Goshi sweeping the opponent's leg out from under him. And so, this brings us to the end of our vintage archival footage. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. This is Damien Chamber saying so long for now and until next time, sayonara.